Oh, 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 what's good, y'all? What's good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your girl. I'm still Asia, baby. Because every time I close my eyes, I see you. Welcome back to my channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you are new here, hello, hello, and welcome, okay? Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl, okay? As y'all can see from the thumbnail today, y'all, I gotta give a shout out to my guy, okay? Carl Hansen, okay? He has been leaving me numerous freaking comments on this video, y'all. So I gotta give a big shout out to you, Carl Hansen. Shout out to you. Thank you for being a loyal subscriber and always commenting on my videos, y'all. He has suggested to us to do, y'all, um, Bill Burr, Paper Tiger Robots, okay? I've not heard anything about this. I don't know why it's called Paper Tiger Robots, but <laughs> all I'm saying is, okay, that's already just suspect. That's just, su <laughs> that's just suspect off top. I don't know, y'all. Paper Tiger Robots. Even when you put that together, it's just like, wait, what? What? Okay? It's like that. <laughs> so... I ain't finna make this video long, y'all. This video is long enough. So go on and get your popcorn ready, ladies and gentlemen. And let's go on and get into this video, y'all. Okay? Let's go, y'all. I don't know. But anyways, you know what I'm afraid of? You know what I'm afraid of? Robots. <laughs> yeah, I saw, one get, I saw one get interviewed on 60 Minutes, the top journalistic program in the United States. And he's just sitting there getting interviewed, not nervous at all, just rattling off all the fucking answers, you know? Not smoking, not fucking, you know, leaking oil, whatever you would do as a, as, as, as a nervous robot, right? And, and the reporter's asking him questions, and in the end he goes, so tell us, he's like, uh, he's like, what are your goals? And I am alone in a hotel room, and I literally lean towards the TV, I'm like, do these fucking things have goals? <laughs> And the, the, the fucking robot just answers. He just goes, uh, to be, uh, he goes, well, what are your goals? And the robot goes, uh, to become smarter than human beings. <laughs> yeah. And the reporter just blows by it. He's like, okay, and uh, what's your favorite color? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm standing on my bed yelling at the TV like, dude, unplug that fucking thing. Take the batteries out. Pour the wa pull the wires out. Do something. How many sci-fi movies do you have to see before you realize where this is going? <laughs> Okay, I don't, want, I don't want none of them problems, okay? You need me go on and unplug that thing, okay? Take the battery out, unwire it, whatever you need to do. Whatever you need to do. <laughs> go and take that out, okay? Disable that. Five movies do you have to see before you realize where this is going? <laughs> so anyways, every smart person, every super smart person in the world is saying these fucking things are gonna kill us. Even your boy hit a guy, he recently died. What was his name? He was, uh, he was always sitting down. Stephen Hawkins, yeah. Too good to fucking stand up and make his point just sitting down all fucking smarmy. <laughs> oh, I care so much. I poured ice on myself. Um, and I showed off my abs at the same time for the gram. No, I'm just fucking with you. I'm so glad that guy's fucking dead, though. You know? Look at you guys, your heart. How much longer do you want him to suffer? You don't believe in an afterlife? Maybe he's up there now, he's, he's, his fucking legs work, he's getting an angelic blowjob. How much longer do you want him to fucking sit there so you can feel better about yourself? Well, at least I'm not all fucking twisted up saying smart shit, right? Oh, I couldn't fucking gosh. stand that guy. Yeah. <laughs> he was yeah. so fucking negative, he never had anything positive to say. Hey, Steve, what do you got for us today? In 2035, there'll be no more apples. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Wasn't thinking about that, now I am. Hey, so what's the solution? It's too late, we needed to try 40 years ago. Thanks a lot, buddy. I'm gonna go cry with my child now. All right, let me not ask him nothing else, okay? I don't need, I don't need no more opinions from you, okay? No, no more input, please, sir. We needed to try 40 years ago. Thanks a lot, buddy. I'm gonna go cry with my child now. Right. Dude, I can hang with that, out with that guy for about three minutes before I took the break off his chair and just swung him into the other room. Hey, Steve, come back here when you got something dumb and positive to say. <laughs> yeah, 
Well, listen, I agreed with all of these super smart people thinking that these fucking robots were gonna kill us, right? I agreed with all of that shit until a couple of years ago, I was in New York and I was looking through a newspaper, right? And I have a whole new fucking theory. But in order for me to tell you my theory, I have to quickly take you back to the deep, dark, sordid history of the blow-up doll. All right? And I know there's a lot of millennials here, young people. You probably don't even know what one of these is. All right? With your fucking, I don't know what you guys do, your virtual reality glasses, you know, fucking free porn flying by you, grabbing titties. What, what, whatever, whatever it is you do. All right? in the day, this was the deal. If you were a person and, and you wanted Wait, y'all, why, why is it looking like this, though? This straight up off of his channel, Bill Burr's. Where is he at? You got I'm just saying, hey, I hope I don't have the, the wrong version up here, but I'm just saying, y'all, I don't know. I don't know. I went to his channel and got this video, so I don't know, y'all. <laughs> Back in the day, this was the deal. If you were a person and, and you wanted to have sex with somebody else, but like nobody else wanted to have sex with you. And you know, you, you weren't strong enough to hold anybody down. I mean. <laughs> you had to go, you had, this how it was. You had to go out and you had to get a blow up doll and you had to fucking go out and get it. You had to fucking go out and get it, right? You couldn't just order it off of an Amazon and some delivery guy shows up. He doesn't know what's in the box. You're standing there like Tom Hanks. Hey, how you doing? Great to see you. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck that, you have no idea what it is. Now, dude, you had to go down and you had to fucking get this thing. You had to find a porno store, you had to work it out that was just far enough away from your house that no one's gonna recognize your car. You drive down at like 11 in the morning, who the fuck is gonna be there then, right? Wait, the fact that he knows that you had to go and pick it up, Nice your car. You drive down like 11 in the morning. Who the fuck is gonna be there then, right? You park in the back on like a Tuesday, just sitting there in the car, psyching yourself up. Like, okay, I'm not hurting anybody. It's just an urge. Just get in there, okay? Hand in the money. Just get in there and get it done. You yank your hat down. You fuck. You walk in with all your courage, and then you get in there and be too many other perverts in there, and you get all psyched out. So what you do is you just grab a bunch of videotapes and you walked up to the counter. You had to make it look like it was an impulse buy, right? and you're walking up and everything, all the creepy shit was behind the counter, right? Just fucking heads and feet, just an ass body part, serial killer buffet. What fucking world am I entering? Oh my God, somebody's fucking a neck, Jesus Christ, right? And you set it down. Just make it look real subtle. Okay, buddy, is that gonna be all? Uh, yeah, no, uh, maybe, that, maybe that thing down the end with the surprise look on its face. Uh, maybe I'd like to take a shot at that. I don't know. The guy wraps it up and then you finally get it. You give him the money, you fucking run out to the car. You have this whole weird emotion. You're like excited and you hated yourself. Thank God I finally did it. What the fuck is wrong with me? Just drive off. <laughs> you go back to your little shitty fucking apartment and you had to blow it up quietly. So none of your neighbors heard. Just like. <sighs> <sighs> then you got excited, start going a little faster. <sighs> And just watching this thing slowly come into life, just like. <laughs> right? And then you'd wrap those rubber legs around you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And God forbid you got caught. Your roommate comes walking in, he's fucking a bomb doll. Dude, your life was over. You had like six minutes to get your mom on the phone, like, Mom, I love you, and you're never gonna see me again. Don't believe what people said about me. I'm so sorry. I'm going to Alaska. Oh, God, God, click. That was it. You moved to Alaska. That was no one ever saw you again. And that's why to this day, if you go to Alaska, there's like eight men for every two women. Yeah, because that state oh is God. littered with men who got caught fucking shit they shouldn't have been fucking. So now, fast forward to about 2016. I'm in New York City. Right? And I'm looking through the newspaper or whatever, and I come across an article, and it's on this robot that for $10,000, you buy this thing, you can have sex with it. Right? Now notice, what? five minutes ago, I brought up a blow-up doll. Didn't even have a joke, just said blow-up doll, and you all laughed. <laughs> a blow-up doll. Who would do such a stupid thing? Right? That's weird. Five minutes later, I say a robot that you can have sex with, dead silence in here. <laughs> it's just collectively, you all... Where we going with this? Cause I don't know about that now. I don't know about. <laughs> I don't know about that. All just like, well. 
What does it look like? I'm not gonna lie to you. It, it still looks like a dead body, but it looks way fucking better than that pull-up doll from 30 years ago. And that's what scares me, because everything gets better, right? You look at when cars first came out, the stupid horn, ah, you had to crank start it, you'd run over your best friend. Now you can start one up with a remote control from like 50 yards away, right? Remember when airbags first came out? They just had one for the driver. My family! I guess that's it. No, man. I hope this was the right one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> y'all. The fact that I hope, y'all, are they really making dolls that are robots that do that? Like, no. <laughs> I'm curious to know, y'all. I'm like, I want to see what it looked like. <laughs> That's a real thing or not, y'all. I know, I'm like, creeped out, y'all. That would just creep me to death, okay? Because I wish I would could walk up on somebody that's doing something like that with a dang robot dog. Y'all, you got me messed up, okay? The fact that he knows that you you had to order one of them things, go all the way down to the store and, and hype yourself. And y'all, I can only imagine, like, the man that actually had to go and get that. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I wonder how big the box was walking out of the store. Like, I'm just, I have so many <laughs> I've seen those little stupid dolls, but I'm just curious to know, like, how big is the box? Like, what happens if it pops? Like, what, <laughs> like, what do you do? You know what I'm saying? Is there a warranty on them things? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got so many questions about them little stupid dolls, but I'm even to say that. Even to say that. Okay? Y'all, I ain't even finna ask. How many of y'all actually got one of them things? I don't want to know. Don't tell me. I don't, <laughs> don't want to know, okay? I don't know if anybody want to know. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying, y'all. Hey. If you got one of them robots in your life, you know what I'm saying? Hey. <laughs> I bet you're living your best life. That's all I'm saying. You ain't got to argue with nobody, okay? You ain't got to have no conversation with nobody. You ain't got to get them no money. You ain't got to do nothing. You ain't got to do nothing, okay? <laughs> Y'all, Bill Burr is a mess, y'all. I cannot, I cannot, I don't even want to know, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he is a mess. Anyway, if y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give me a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia. Oh, from your girl, I'm still Asia, y'all. I almost said it. I almost said it. I ain't said it, though. I didn't say it. <laughs> And shout out to Carl Hansen. Now, see, now, Carl, now, Carl, now. Okay, now I need to know why you wanted me to do this video so bad. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? I love you, though. All right, y'all, I'm out of here. Everybody have a great one. Happy holidays, everybody, and I'm going to see y'all on the next video, y'all. Bye, y'all.